Welcome back to our Science of Reading series where we introduce you to 3 in 3, three tech tools in three minutes, or as close to that as possible. I'm Lisa Flanders-Dick, and today we're diving into tools that support phonological awareness. As you know, this is a critical skill in early reading development. In this episode, you'll learn about a game that fosters phonemic awareness, a low-tech tool for providing center instructions, and a way to elevate your use of Elkanen boxes for blending and segmenting. Our first tool is the Sound Counter Game, found at VocabularySpellingCity.com. This game is excellent for fostering phonemic awareness skills. The game engages students in identifying and counting sounds in words, helping them develop the ability to hear and manipulate individual phonemes. You, the educator, can select from a variety of lists. Then the students are able to hear the word, see the word, and drag and drop little speaker icons according to how many sounds they hear. Then they can check it, and a voice will enunciate the word for them. They can actually click on each speaker as well to hear the individual sounds. By incorporating this game in your phonological awareness activities, you provide students with a fun and interactive way to build essential reading skills. Vocabulary Spelling City offers both free and premium content making it accessible for all classrooms. Next, we have a low-tech tool, but it is incredibly effective, a recordable button. So one challenge that I have found with many of the phonological awareness games online, along with other games online, other than all the advertisements all over the place, is that many times the instructions are written out with no way for the students to hear them. This is where the recordable button comes in handy. You can set up a center with an online game or other activity and then include the recordable button where you have recorded the instructions. When students are working in the center, they simply push the button to hear your directions. This ensures that all students can access and understand the directions, making the activities more inclusive and effective. The recordable buttons are inexpensive and can be found easily online. You can probably guess it, one of the stores is our favorite, Amazon, or at an educational supply store. Okay, our final tool brings us back to Canva, but this time it is for creating custom blending and segmenting maps to level up your Elkanen boxes. Canva allows you to design personalized maps that suit your specific classroom or classroom lesson needs. We've included a template for your use along with a blog post providing numerous other examples. Using these custom maps, you can help students visually map out the sounds and words, enhancing their phonological awareness and making the abstract concept of sound manipulation more concrete. Thank you for joining us today. I hope you find the sound counter game on Vocabulary Spelling City, the recordable button, and Canva for custom Elkanen boxes to be valuable additions to your phonological awareness backpack. Be sure to check out the show notes for links to our Canva template and other resources. Join us next time when we explore tools for the wonderful world of phonics. This podcast was made possible in part by the collaborative effort of the Louisiana Department of Education and Louisiana Tech University through the Science and Art of Teaching Reading Project.